now I will show you some basic editing that you can do in MS Word 2016 so first is a introduction to the view tab so let's go to the view tab here you can see the different groups we have the view group containing of the read mode print layout web layout outline and draft so there are five view modes we have the show group so if you would like to show the ruler grid lights or navigation pane we have the zoom group so zoom if it is 100% one if you want to see only one page or multiple pages if you want to see it at full page width and then you have here your window group and your macros group so window group if you are working with two documents you can view it side by side you can also have synchronized scrolling you can switch windows so there you can have, have, find different view options now I will show you the different view options or view modes in MS Word. So let's type here first view options. There, so you can see the difference. Now currently is we are in the print layout, which again is the default view. It displays the document as it will look when printed and it enables you to use the ribbon to create and edit your document so that is a print layout now we have the read mode so let's click on read mode there the read mode changes the page layout of the document with a larger font for easier reading some tools are available for editing and navigating through the document and to advance to the next page click on click the arrow on the right of the screen or tap if you are using a touch screen so these are arrows if there are more than two pages so you can make use of those so that is your um read mode now let's change it to web layout just you can, there are still available tools here at the top you have the tools and the view so there these are in read mode your commands are um limited so these are the only commands available that two from the tools tab and the view tab so this is it and then Let's go to the web layout. So the web layout view shows how the document would look like as a web page. So if this is your web page, it is, again, as I mentioned, how the document will look like. Now, why do we have this web layout? Because again, as I mentioned in the saving your document, um, you have different um, file types that you can save your document as and one of those is a web layout or um, web page kind of document so each HTML um, that and the like so those or this view would be useful if you are making file of those type so that's it the web layout and then next is we have the outline so here the outline view displays the document as an outline and offers an outlining tab with commands for creating and editing outlines so if you are um trying to review for an exam so if you want to create outlines for easier review easier review so you can use this view option so there this as i me as mentioned there is already a outlining tab wherein you can show text formatting show first line only and so on and so forth so these are commands related to outlining and then lastly we have the 
draft view. So draft view is strictly for editing text. Advanced elements such as charts, graphs, pictures, and other objects are hidden in this view. So that is your draft view. Again, by default, we have print layout as our view option. Now, I will show you the different view commands, or not view, but window commands in the window group. So first, we have the new window. If you click on the new window button, it opens a new window displaying the current displaying the current document and then this window shows a document name in the title bar followed by the number two so as you can see right here there so it is your document two let's change it let's change the positioning so that is your new window each new window you open in the same document receives a sequentially numbered name and then this feature enables you to work in different places in your document so your window one is different then your window two can also be different so that is your new window next is the arrange all so if you click on arrange all there the bot um, it displays two or more windows on the screen at the same time so this is useful when comparing documents or when using information from multiple documents the next um next command is the split command so the split command the split command um divides the document or divides one document window into two windows that scroll independently so this enables you to view two parts of a single document at the same time so Let's remove the split and then let's there. Let's write something so you will really see. So if you click on split, so the tab here you can view it, and then this at the bottom you can also view. See window and then this one you can view tab. So you can work on different parts of the document at the same time. Next is the view side by side. So this one, view side by side. If you click on this button, it enables you to view two documents next to each other. And then when you are viewing documents side by side, you can use the synchronous scrolling command to link the scrolling of two do documents so that you can move through both at the same time. So this is your document two. Again, see, let's remove the split here so it won't be confusing. So below your view side by side command is your synchronous scrolling. So if you click, if you click the synchronous scrolling, so even if you scroll from the first document, so it would also the second document would also scroll. So if you are working on the Second document, even if you scroll it, the first document will also scroll. So if you unclick it, so you can, on, um, if you unclick it, sorry, unclick it, you can only control one document. So that is your synchronous scrolling. Next, we have the reset window position. So this button is used with the view side by side button when viewing two documents side by side the reset window position button will position both documents equally on the screen so for instance let's change this part so if we click on the this one reset window position so see it will or your two documents will be equally positioned or it will be in the same position so even if we change the second document again 
Let's change the second document. Let's make it smaller. See, it's already smaller. Now, if you click this again, if you click the reset window position, your second document will change. So that's it. And then next is the switch window button, which enables you to select which document will be the active document that is for editing so the name of the document appears on the title bar so currently we are in the sample document 2 file see no, no, because that is here sample document file now if we click switch window so you can choose what window you can work on so let's keep this and then see it will or your active window will be your sample document that you chose. So, those are your different window command options.